So our customer demands like and preferences changing a lot nowadays? Like how are they changing? And then like, how do you handle those, Sean? Well, you're saying customer preferences are changing a lot. Um, I think that we're directing that, we're driving that, we're educating our customers. So how we advertise, what we have on display, what we discuss when we go to their house, what we're installing at their neighbor's house. So we're changing the conversation. We have some control over that. Does that make sense? So um, we do a lot of the advertising, I would say, in our area rather than relying on our vendor. We had a vendor that would co-op and run ads. But the problem with that is it may not be items and things that we want you want to be sharing. So I think we control it up front by um, how we have the conversation, what we advertise, what we put in the ground. Cool. What about you, Joe? Any insight around what you're hearing in the industry from customers? Well, I mean, I think I think the conversation we were just having about fluctuating prices kind of helps dictate, you know, the customer's preference because the budget only when we're talking about residential customers, the budget only stretches so far, right? And the commercials are a completely different ball of wax. They can pass costs on, but you know, a home, a home budget is a home budget. So where, you know, two years ago, three years ago, we were pushing only six foot in wood, six foot cedar privacy installed on, uh, purpose-built steel post. So whereas now we have to get a little bit more uh, creative with what we're offering just because that the price of that product has gone up two and a half times in the last three years. So I would almost say cost is dictating a lot of the customer preference and demand, uh, and it's putting off a lot of projects. I think there's a thought in the market that prices are going to get better. Um, I, I don't know that that's true. 